So you may be wondering, how on earth do you fly? How do you get your broomstick in Hogwarts Legacy? Well, in this video, my friends, are going to show you guys exactly how to unlock the ability to fly. Now, very minor, minor spoilers are going to be in here. Obviously, you're going to be showing you guys a little bit of stuff like Hogsmeade and a little bit of the overworld. Not too, too much, but uh, keep that in mind. Now, the very first thing you're going to want to do is actually unlock the class, the quest. It's going to be a story quest. It's going to happen naturally. It's about five or six hours, maybe seven. Depends if you do a lot of side stuff. You do a lot of side stuff, you're pushing maybe like seven hours or so. If you don't do a lot of side stuff, maybe four to five hours into the game, you should be able to unlock it. Now, again, it's going to be a quest that you're going to naturally unlock. You have to do the quest. It's part of the story. That is the very first thing you have to do. But once you do this quest, you have unlocked the ability to fly but you don't yet have a broomstick of your own so now i'm going to show you guys exactly how to get your own broomstick where you can get it and all the nitty-gritty when it comes to that so let's go into that right now all right so pull up your map and what we're going to do is we're going to head over to hogsmeade now obviously you should already have hogsmeade unlocked again it's part of the story what we're going to do is we're going to go to the kind of this southern location right here to spint or sprint witches or i don't know what it's called anyways go to this location here uh and when you go into this shop uh you wouldn't have not been able to get in here earlier in the game and now you can uh, so when you go in here, of course, you can loot his stuff. You can steal all his stuff because, hey, people don't mind if you steal their stuff in this game. And then you go ahead and talk to him. And there's going to be, of course, a, bit, a little bit of dialogue. Once you get through the dialogue, you can go ahead and buy your own broom. It's going to cost you about 600 a piece. Now, there's a bunch of different brooms. From what I can tell, they all do the exact same thing, at least the ones that he sells. There's going to be other shops in the overworld that sell different kind of brooms for different kind of prices, more expensive, stuff like that. But for your starter broom, this is where you're going to find it. Pick whatever you want. Again. Uh, you're going to have your Hogwarts house broom for me. It's a Gryffindor kind of style uh, broom for you. could be different if you're in a different house um, and all that good stuff. So again, it doesn't matter. Pick whatever one uh, you like the look of most and you have your broom. Now, there's actually one other thing. You can technically upgrade your broom as well. Now, I'm not going to go too much in the details of that, but I'll show you guys how to at least get that started for now. If you guys do want to go ahead and at least start that kind of uh, quest line to uh, start getting your upgrades because you can upgrade it, I guess, like three different times that uh, you'll see. So let's go ahead and at least show you guys how to start that so once you buy your broom you're gonna go ahead there's gonna be a little bit more dialogue with this uh, shopkeeper here uh alby weeks or however you pronounce the name and he's gonna talk about upgrades and everything's like that so again it's just gonna be part of the dialogue right after you buy your first broom and uh if you go through the dialogue and you basically tell him that sure that sounds intriguing he'll tell you to go see a very specific character at the quidditch pitch now while we go over there let me show you guys really quick so you press l1 and then you hold l1 and you press circle in order to pull out your broom when you're in locations that you can fly if you're in a no-fly zone it'll tell you that you're in a no-fly zone and you're not gonna be able to pull it out but most areas in the open world you're gonna be able to fly so anyways let's go ahead and we're gonna go to flight test if you're looking for the quest you can go ahead and track it it'll show you guys exactly where to go but the quidditch pitch is basically just behind hogwarts school and it's very very easy to uh, find it's very hard to miss because it's very colorful once you get here you're gonna go talk to this character right here uh, there's going to be a whole dialogue there and you're going to have to do a time trial now the trick to this is you're going to hit all of these uh kind of little yellow ball things they're going to give you speed bursts now if you don't know how to fly you press right on the d-pad i'll show you exactly how to fly but basically what you're going to want to do is either hold r2 uh the right trigger or you're going to click down on the left stick in order to uh, lean forward. And then you're going to hold L2, which is going to give you a speed boost constantly, which you can see the speed boost is the yellow bar at the bottom right corner. Once you go through the time trial, very, very easy to do. You're going to talk to her again, which I'm going to skip really fast. And then you're going to go back and talk to... Uh, to the person again over here, uh, Albie Weeks or whatever his name is, back in Hogsmeade to let him know that you beat her score. So the whole idea is you have to beat her score, which is like two minutes and 20 seconds. I did it, I think, in like a minute and 40 or something, minute and 50. I don't remember. But I, I beat her by like 30 or 40 seconds. She was very mad, uh, which is great, by the way. So again, it's not too, too hard. As long as you're getting most of those yellow orbs are going to give you enough of a speed boost to kind of get through the rings as fast as possible. If you miss a ring, that could be problematic. You might have to circle back. Uh, uh, anyways, all that to say, when you talk to him, though, unfortunately, he's going to say that you're going to have to come back. So that's why I said I'll tell you guys how to start this, but I'm not, you know, we're not going to go through the whole thing because, again, at some point, you're going to have to come back. So uh, you just progress through the game, through the story. Eventually, uh, you'll be, uh, I guess, uh, signaled to go back and see him, and you're going to be able to get your first upgrade and so on and so forth. And if you just follow along with that afterwards, you should be good to go. So that's how you unlock the broom. That's how you unlock flying in Hogwarts Legacy, and that's how you start your quest line to get the upgrades as well uh, i hope that helped you guys out if it did leave it a like subscribe for more we do a variety of gaming content here on the channel and i'll see you guys soon in another one tell my friends game on and thanks for watching